All right, guys, welcome back. It's Technivorous here. This week we've been doing some Ender 3 Pro mods, Ender 3 Pro upgrades, I should say. So we are doing a duct for our lower fan today for part cooling, and I will jump right into it. All right, so here we have it. I actually haven't removed it from the bed yet, so we're going to lift our mat here, pry it off. Basically, this is going to go right underneath the extruder there, and it's small enough that if your nozzle is seated properly, it won't bump the bed. So, Briefly, what it does is it's going to take air in through these and it's going to blow them downward out through this so you're not cooling your nozzle you're cooling the part which is desirable At this point we are going to shut off our machine and I am going to need the second smallest I believe Allen key to get the fan housing off so oh it is the smallest I was wrong you're going to be using your smallest Allen key so grab that And during this process, we only need to remove the bottom two screws. We're going to be replacing another plastic part that was stock on the Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro with our own modified part. Now, give me one second. Okay. And it's actually a good thing on mine that we're replacing this because it seems to be slightly damaged on this side, this plastic piece. Or maybe that's just the way it fits in there. We'll find out in a minute here. And that screw was pretty stripped out. You can see the normal, the stock part. I'm really hoping that this is going to go on here without a problem after seeing that screw there. But we shall see. Does fit, fits rather well. I don't know why I'm trying to screw in an, an Allen key here. They are different sizes, so maybe it wasn't catching because I replaced them backwards the last time. So let's see. Oh yeah, it's threading. It's threading just fine, so... After we're done screwing it on here, we're going to fire the machine back up and we'll test it. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to raise the Z-axis and then we will turn on the fan. Um, and make sure that the air is directed more in a downward direction as opposed to blowing across our hot end nozzle. We are in there good. We don't want to put it too tight. Strip it out. Now for this screw. I'm actually feeling pretty comfortable at the moment with this, so I'm going to go ahead and fire it back up. Uh, was pretty positive that this was just two screws, but I didn't know if we were going to have to move the fan around or, uh, at all or not. But it is very well designed. It fit right on. Seems to be doing exactly what it's supposed to. And we're almost there. Bear with me, guys. One second. All right, and there we have it. Now, my cooling fan isn't on. So, pair, move axis, move 10 millimeters. Oh, move one millimeter. Z. Okay, just want to make sure that I can get my hand underneath it. And actually, that fan is on, and I can feel it quite a bit. 
cooling there. So it's actually directing it right where I want it. It does seem to be a little a little off square. Um, but my carriage hangs slightly off square too. So um, we are going to run a test print with this guy. All right. So I've been off doing other things. I thought I'd let this run for a minute, come back, and we'd take a look at our first print. Thing is, you can't really see it from your angle, but there's some ugliness going on here. So we've shut down the print, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Looks pretty square from that angle. This is supposed to be a cube. It's this model right here, exact same one. This one came out pretty flawless. It is slightly off dimensionally uh, because of horizontal expansion. You can see the elephant footing on the bottom there. But this one has the opposite problem where the parts didn't melt an elephant foot the fan was blowing too directly onto the filament so it immediately solidified and began to come up from the bed so we have a very warped bottom we have some corners missing well, once we got up looks like four or five layers then things started to even out and straighten up and there is a way to fix that in the G code. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get a fix for this and we'll try printing another one. All right. So what I'm doing is setting some settings for my fan speed here. What I've done is lowered my regular fan speed because it does have quite a lot of push. So we're dropping that down to 70. The initial fan speed is going to start off at zero and it's going to reach that 70% at layer 10. So it's going to start off slow and build to that higher level. The other thing I wanted to do is not heat up my build plate, but I wanted to make sure my printing temperature was higher. The last one was printing on 205. Now I'm not printing the same cube. I'm printing something lower and a little bit wider because I want to test the bed adhesion and make sure that I'm able to put down layers and go around angles with this mod on. Otherwise, we're going to have to take it off. So. We'll slice this up and jump back to the printing. And that's it for installing the new fan blower. No, I mean it. That's it for that. <laughs> I took it off, went back to stock. I uh, was having serious issues where the uh, piece here was a little too long in the Z direction. So it was pushing down on the mat and not allowing my nozzle to come in contact. And the reason for this, the reason that it's not accurate is because I have changed my nozzle several times and even had to reseat the throat or the, throat or the heat break um, a couple of times. So it, it's not in the exact position it was when this guy measured for his part. Uh, could be an easy adjustment if I go in and do some modeling, but I'm not going to do that right now. And obviously, if I do, I can't print it with the piece on because there's getting no adhesion on the bottom layer, as I showed you on our cube. So... Uh, when I went to print the other model, I noticed that it wasn't because it was cooling it too fast. It was because it just wasn't able to reach the bed and put down a good first layer. And as you all know, without that first layer, you're not going to get a good print. So I'm actually quite surprised after seeing that, that this came out as square as it did at the top because the bottom is a rough, you know, that's kind of hard to see because it's translucent PLA, but it's stringy and broken and and yeah this 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 is just not going to work for me so we'll find another vent mod we'll put that on but for now we're going to go ahead and toss this one in the recycle pile that's going to be it for me guys uh you know it just goes to show you that once in a while trying things out doesn't work the way you expected um not this guy's fault that's for sure i've just done a lot of changes to the ender 3 already so i can't expect everything to fit like they fit onto the stock version that said don't forget to leave a like on this video hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell we do have lots more of these videos planned if there's any particular mods you'd like to see leave them in the comments down below because i'm always testing out new stuff and trying new parts on this beast it is my closest 3d printer it is on my desktop i look at it daily so um, definitely, definitely like to switch it up, especially with the noise. The eye candy definitely takes away from the screeching a little bit. So like I said, that's it for me, guys. Have a good day.